Yo, yo, what up, fam? I'm going to drop a serious nugget on y'all real quick. How to do a seller financing transaction. There's a lot to this. I'm going to keep it short and keep it clean. Seller financing. Basically, all that means is that the seller is going to be the bank and they're going to give you a mortgage on the property. That's technically what it is. The seller is going to give you a note, which means you're going to pay a bill to them every month. You're going to pay a payment. That's all it is. You're buying a house on payments. Seller finance. Owner is financing it for you. It's easy, dude. Also, you don't need 70% to do that, right? Let's say the house is old granny house with pink tile and green tile and shit everywhere, but it's in great shape and well maintained. Nothing wrong with it. It's just old and out of date. That's okay. You can buy that house with 20% equity, 15% equity on a seller finance, right? You can buy it on seller finance, 15% equity, and put a renter in there tomorrow and make money, right? That's what a seller finance is. You work up an agreement, maybe five years with a balloon note. Dude, if you're renting a property for five years and you ain't got your credit together by then to be able to refinance the property, you don't know what you're doing at all anywhere in life, right? Get the house, show the rent roll for a couple years, refinance it, pay the seller off, boom, it's your house. Then you stretch it out over 30 years and make it probably even more money, lower your payments. Seller finance. I want to sell my house. I'm the seller. Cash offer's too low. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Would you be willing to work with me over time if I could pay you what you want or close to it? Let's say they want 100 grand for a $100,000 property and it needs $20,000 worth of updates. I tell you what, I give you 80, 85. My cash offer is 40, right? That's the that's the wholesale offer, 40, 45. Cash offer, a lot of people don't want to go that low, man. They know their house is in the dump. So I can give you 80,000 if you're willing to work with me for five years. Probably less, actually, but that's just a cushion just in case the market turns or the banks turn or whatever. Give me five years, I'll pay you $500 a month every month boom 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 we're responsible for the taxes and insurance you sold the house you're just selling it in installments it's an installment sale that's seller finance so when you go up on a deal and the lady the lady of the man or whatever the seller doesn't like the cash offer is too low ask them what they want if they want a reasonable price and it's in good shape and you don't have to do any work to it and somebody would be happy to rent it and you can make money every month off the rent get that joint on seller finance an installment sale that's what I tell them it is, installment sale, right? We'll pay it off in five years or less. A lot of people like income, man. A lot of people want income, especially older people. The only thing older person's worrying about is their health and their income because they're living on social security disability and they ain't getting shit. They're struggling. So help them out. Give them 500, give them 1,000 a month. These are free, legit real estate tactics, y'all. Y'all should be eating this shit up. Negotiate the deal where you got 80% equity, 20% equity, I mean, and pay them every month. Sometimes you got to put money down, sometimes you don't. I bought 10 houses on seller finance and didn't put a nickel down. Not one nickel, right? So it's doable. And I don't pay interest on them either, okay? Now, that's another negotiation tactic. If somebody uh, wants some money down, you figure it out. Maybe you raise the payment every month and lower the money down. Or maybe you add interest to the payment every month and no put no money down. Or maybe you just put two, three thousand down or four, five thousand. You know, negotiate. They don't like the 10 years. Three hundred thousand dollar house, we can't pay it off in two years. How about ten? Right? How about seven? Five years. Dude, if you're renting a property for five years, making money every month, you should be able to have your credit together to refinance by then for sure. You can also lease option the house for two years, 18 months, and somebody else pay it off for you. There's a lot of things you can do, but seller finance is a hell of a tactic to start building, an incredible tactic to start building your portfolio right now with no money. But if you do seller finance and you don't get a renter in there for the fir in the first 30 days, you pay that note on time, always, because that's going to fuck up your credibility and they're gonna, they can take you to court and screw your life up. And screw your business up, right? So pay that note. If you got to come out of pocket one month, two months, do it, dude. You're going to get the money back. The, 
the tenant's going to move in and give you a couple thousand dollars, you know, uh, the down deposits, whatever, and then they're going to pay you more money than what you're paying on it every month. You're responsible for the taxes and insurance, so figure that up in the rent, dude. Make some money. Do a lease option. Get 5% up front. Make money every month, right? I'm going to do a video on a lease option. Make money every month, and in two years, they pay it off for $40,000 more than what you got it for, or whatever. Whatever the numbers are. But seller finance is a hella tactic. Hella dope tactic. I love seller finance. Anyway, I'm the Savage. All month long, I'm dropping free real estate tips, tricks, strategies, everything. So if you got a question, drop it. I'll drop a video on it because uh, I'm tired of these people just affiliate marketing and lying to people and st stealing everybody's money. I'm tired of this shit. Social media, fucking influencers that ain't telling you shit. I'm tired of it. So anyway, y'all need some real information without having to pay $50,000 to get it. All right? 30 days, that's all you got. And then I'm taking the videos down. So you better be watching the Savage Investor, TikTok, IG, fake book group, all that. Join the Savage Investor Facebook group. Adios, player. See you soon.